What up, though, y'all? It's your boy, Bill. Man, this is... To me, this is very, very powerful, bro. We got Boosie Badass. Now, y'all know. Y'all know, bro. I don't get on here doing no... Oh, the rappers beefing this. Oh, the rappers spent this much money. The rappers this. I don't care about none of that. I could care less about that because to an extent, I feel like that contradicts what I'm pushing out. But this is so important right here. This is, I believe this is going to mean something to some people, to some people that is influenced by Boosie Badass. Big shout out to him. And that, you know, got respect for him and that looks up to him like he's the role model. Bro, this means so much to me right now. You know, from, from what we know, y'all know what's up with Boosie. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how he come. But to hear him say the things that he's saying in this video directed to the youth. Oh my goodness, but y'all better take heed. Now this is coming from somebody that millions of people look up to. I know me, I'm just being feasy, whatever, but this Boosie Badass. And what, what he's saying, I'm going to stop it in between time to break a few things down to y'all, but bro, come on, bro. I always tell me to hear the fuck up. I just had to pause that part real quick just to let y'all know context, exactly what's going on here. He is sitting in the car somewhere eating something. And he just looking around and said, I wish them, because I hurried them up. He's talking about his folks that's with him, that he got to be with, that he got to have with him. And he's frustrated from sitting there waiting. But when you have lived a certain type of life, that is mandatory. When you live a certain way, and it's not even just about the celebrity, the rapper, the famous thing. I mean, you got to do that also. But specifically, when you have let it be known that I am a gangster and I'm with all that, these are the issues you could possibly have. Being frustrated, ready to go, but you know you can't leave without your dog because you know you got to have backup because you know they got your back. Don't never become no street nigga, though. Ooh, that was Boosie Badass said. Don't never become no street. This is from a man that done went to prison for years, that done had multiple um, accusations for very, very serious crimes. And it's coming from him, folks. Don't never become no street. It's not worth it, bro. Let's see what else he got to say. I'm no gangster, bro. Never become a gangster. Always got to have niggas with you. Always got to be trying to protect yourself, looking over your shoulder. Who want to live like that, bro? Who want, like right now, right now, if I wanted to go to the gas station to pump gas, who want to live a life knowing that the stuff I do in these streets, the harm I bring to people, the way I'm tearing up my community with this lame-ass gangbanging or just being in the streets, period. Who wants to live where you can't even ride down the street and go to McDonald's and get you a number one with extra cheese without? Ops. Them ops might be trying to get me. Them ops might be trying to kill. Who want to live like that, G? Come on, bro. Be for real. Shit ain't even with shit. Don't even be worth it, bro. It don't even be worth it, bro. And then look, look at the man. You can see... In his face, like he tired of it, bro. He's tired of it, but he probably done laid that foundation so strong in his earlier years to the point where you got people that you know for the rest of their life they'll just lay on the opportunity to try to catch bro slipping. But he ain't no goofy, he's not gonna go out like Cornball Jamal, so he know whether he's older in age or not. Hey, I still got to make sure. You feel me? But who want to live? Don't nobody want to live like that. This is man telling you that you don't want to live like that. And by the way, the way he got that jelly spread it on there, I don't like when people eat their food like that. Why the hell y'all like spread it out on there like you massaging it on there? You just squeeze it on there or something. You get older, you be like, damn, man. We got shit, bro. A lot of shit come with this shit.
lot of stuff come with it, bro. And and it's hard to have an on and off switch with it if you ain't too knee deep in the game. You go do something to little Ray Ray brother, and then five years later, you think about becoming a pastor and a preacher, and you like, I'm just doing the right thing. What you think little Ray Ray brother going to feel when he see you at Burger King ordering some uh, mozzarella sticks? You think he care that you done changed your life around? No. That's why I be telling y'all, get out, bro. Leave it alone. It's not worth it. Or if the feds was watching you commit a crime five years ago. Now you done turn preacher, man. You doing the right thing. Do you think they give a damn that you done changed your life? No. You can see in his face he's tired. Gotta stay alive, though. You know? Gotta stay alive, though. That's the only thing that matters, bro. Staying alive, bro. That's sad, bro. All that other shit. Free boosted booby. Gotta stay alive. Gotta do whatever to stay alive, though. It, it gets to a point, bro, when you're a gangster, when you thugging, you gang banging, you in the streets, bro. It gets to a point where you got to do whatever to stay alive, bro. Who wants to live like that, G? Y'all want to be bad in school. Y'all don't want to listen to y'all mama and y'all daddy. Y'all want to try to join these lame ass gangs that don't care nothing about you. That's only setting you up for failure. Only to have you one day sitting down coming to realization about everything I'm saying right now. Who want to live like that, bro? Y'all just tighten up, do better. Got to live like, got to watch your back, got to do this to stay alive, bro. And y'all think I be tweaking when I jump and listen. I don't be tripping, bro. I be hearing stuff for real. It just be, I hear it and then I think something crazy and then I got to give it time to register in my mind. What it really was. There's folks with them. They just ain't on the camera. Only goal. Boom. I'm making it home, dog. That's the only goal. Making it home, bro. That's the only goal. Staying alive. This ain't the life you want, though, dog. This ain't the life you want, though. This coming from Boosie Boo. This coming from Boosie Badass. Now, this some of y'all favorite rapper. This this some of y'all favorite. Boosie, one of my favorites. This coming from Boosie Boo. This ain't the life y'all want. If y'all better listen, y'all better pay attention, bro. Y'all better start paying attention and stop thinking I'm just some old 60 days in, scared, straight, trying to lie to you. No. Know. This is not the life you want. Uh, y'all young niggas out there. This ain't the life you want. I can't stress it enough, bro. I can't stress it enough. I mean, I'm going to keep stressing it for the people in the back that probably ain't hear me or for the people that ain't never heard of me and they listening one day out the blue. But, bro. I promise you it's not worth it. I promise you it's not worth it. I don't care how hard times get, bro. It's things you can do that is not jeopardizing your freedom. Young brother, young sister, if you listening to me right now, I promise you it's not worth it. I promise you it's not worth your freedom. I guarantee your free world struggles, you rather have them over a prison struggle any day. You rather have a free world problem over a prison problem any day. You rather be alive and breathing with air in your lungs and able to make something shake, able to get yourself right with the most high, than you be laid out, stretched out in the curve somewhere, shot up 98 times because something stupid you did. Or did you try to stand up for a neighborhood that you own nothing on? That your family have no form of ownership on. You feel some type of way you, you know, you feeling like you ain't love. A lot of people tell me, you know, they just feel like they ain't never had no real love from their parents or whatever, bro. Seek counseling. Seek a mentor. Somebody that you know, you know, you can really talk to without judgment, bro. Figure it out, folks. That's all I'm asking you. Figure it out. You got to think like this. If I go through so much in my life, I just feel like. It's just so hard. I ain't got nobody that love me. Don't nobody care about me. Don't nobody do this. Don't nobody do that. The second I give up and say, I'm just living like this thugging, bro, you can do some things that you can't take back. You can do some things that you cannot take back, bro. There's no point in saying, yeah, I'm going to start. I'm going to get myself. I'm going to start doing the right thing next month. You can't rewind time. You can't rewind time, bro. So that means all the time here now that's just going by is just going by, bro. Do the right thing, bro. It's your boy Bill. I'm gone.